Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a new battery pack from Anchor. This is a 5,000 milliamp battery pack with some cool features on it, including USB-C 20 watt charging to give you that rapid charge. When we look at the pros and cons of this, how does it stack up to other battery packs and what do you need to know to decide if this is a good fit for you? We're gonna talk about what this is good for and what it's bad for. You, there's some things here you need to know before you buy it. First though, this was not a review unit. I did buy it with my own money, keep that in mind. And if you want to find it on Amazon for current pricing, because pricing changes so rapidly, check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, I'll put a link to it on Amazon there so you can find out current pricing. If you have a question, leave me a comment. I'll do my best to answer it. If you're new here real quick, before we get into the full review, do me a big favor, help us grow this channel. Let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. Doing one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So they recommend our videos to more people, helping us grow. We would really appreciate your support as we get close to a major subscriber milestone. And with that said, let's dive into this. So let's just kind of take a look at the battery pack. Right off the bat, it does have a little strap here. It's a pretty small strap, but uh, perfect to kind of hang it off a clip or a carabiner on your backpack, for example. This little button right here just lights up how much power is left. Um, and then you have a USB-C here, just one plug, just USB-C. To charge it, you have a little uh, flip down prong here. You can just plug it into the wall. Don't need to think about having a charger with you. Pretty cool little feature here for on the go to just plug this into the wall and charge it. Now there is one catch here. That's the only way to charge. So this is not a USB-C in and out. This USB-C only goes out to charge your phone, tablet, whatever. It doesn't come back in to charge your device, which is the one major catch here. Because I think for many people, if you're traveling in another country, for example, or you're just in a hurry and you just wanted to use a USB-C cable you had laying around to charge this, maybe you're on a plane and all you have is a USB plug, not a regular outlet plug, for example, you can't charge this. So keep that in mind. It only charges through the flip down double prong. I think for most people, that's not a big issue, but it is something to be aware of if you're on a, like I said, on a plane where a USB plug is all you have, or maybe you're in another country where it, it's not that type of outlet, um, now you need an adapter or you're just out of luck. The other thing to really know here is the fact that this is a 5,000 milliamp battery pack. Now that's a decent battery pack for a top me off, but for most phones that won't give you a max full from nothing to full charge. Uh, for example, well, 10,000 is about one to one and a half, maybe two, depending on what kind of phone you have. With most newer phones having bigger battery packs, this is probably why I would consider a top me off battery pack, which it's actually a pretty good one. So if you've watched my videos, you know I kind of categorize battery packs into a few different categories. One is the um, whole family charger, the four or five devices, the huge, you know, 20,000 milliamp plus battery packs, which will charge four to five plus devices for phones, tablets, etc. Then there's the couples packs, right? One to two people, maybe you just want to charge your stuff a couple times, or maybe you and a spouse a couple times, uh, somebody you're traveling with. And then there's the top me off battery packs. And these are battery packs like, Hey, I've worked all day at work. I'm coming home, my phone's getting low, but I have to have a dinner appointment, I'm going to a concert, I have a party to be at, maybe I'm going golfing, and I wanna make sure I have enough power to top me off. That's where this comes in. This is like, hey, my battery pack's down 30%, 40%. I wanna get through the night of golfing, I wanna get through the night of dinner, and a small little battery pack like this is excellent for it. So it's a pretty cool option. The other big thing here is it's a 20 watt out charger. And that means for many phones on the market that will achieve a, at least a rapid charge if not a max charge. I do know a growing number of phones are 20 watts or higher. Samsung's even got one at 40 watts. Think of wattage when you're charging a phone as a pipe, right? The higher the wattage, bigger the pipe, more water you can pour through it. The higher the wattage, bigger the pipe, more power you can shove through it. And it's one way phone creators are dealing with the fact that battery tech hasn't quite kept up to where we want it to be by having an ability to very rapidly charge your phone, get you up there very fast, so you don't have to sit plugged in for a long time to get a usable amount of power. And that's where Anchor really comes in. It's a pretty good little option. It does a good job here of being a top me off battery pack. Something that may not max or fully charge your phone overnight, but something that was going to get you through the night at a party event, etc. The 20 watts is a really nice sound point. I do still wish that it had power in through the USB-C, just for situations where I am 
in an area where there is no wall plug and more. Now, one last um, thing here with this, I often get questions, Luke, how do you turn these on, right? How do I turn this on? How do I turn it off? You don't. That power button, I called it earlier, just displays how much power is left in the battery pack. It just briefly turns on those LED lights. There's four of them or um, yeah, four. And four means 100%, three means 75, two means 50, et cetera, power remaining. Just so you don't drain your battery by running those lights at all time. To turn it on, you just plug a cable in, plug it into your phone or tablet or wireless earbuds, and you're good to go. All you want to stop it, just unplug it. That's all you need to do. There is no need to be thinking about turning it on or off, built-in auto on and off for this. So there you go. Two thumbs up as a top me off battery pack. Something that's small can fit in a small backpack, fanny pack, purse, whatever you may be carrying around. This is a pretty nice little, hey, I just wanna make sure I'm gonna not run out of power when I'm out to dinner after a long day at work. If you're a heavy phone user like me, I don't care what they say, iPhone, Android, anything, I can drain that battery faster than they say. So this is a great battery pack for that. So two thumbs up on it. If you wanna find this on Amazon, I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. If you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So YouTube goes and recommends our videos to more people helping us grow. Now we'll be back with another video real soon. We would appreciate your support. We post almost every day now, over 500 reviews just like this one and many more in the works right now. So help us grow. We would appreciate your support. Check out our back catalog and do us a favor. If you like what we do, or if you have questions, leave us a comment and let us know. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. So until next time, be careful, be safe. We'll be back again real soon with another video and another product. Thanks for your support. We'll talk to you again real soon.